Hey everyone, what's going on? This is Paul Sivo, and welcome to episode 10 of my Let's Play. Uh, I'm going to assess real quick what I've actually done in this world, because it's been quite a while since I've actually played in here. Let's see, I've got seven solar generators. Got a good amount of reeds, cacti. It looks like I'm still missing Reese, so that's kind of disappointing, but time to get on. So today, what I should do is make up a few more solar panels and possibly even upgrade uh, a few of those and condense them. So let us get started with that. And once again, this isn't feeding power. Do not understand. My full, I'm full. Wow. All right, this is why I shouldn't record late at night. Yeah. It's just past 1 a.m. right now for me, so it's a bit late, but I decided, you know, I should probably get something recorded, because I haven't in a while, because I've been really busy. Alright, so place this down. Not there. There. Alright, fill all of this in. And boosh. There we go. Now we've got power. Alright, that's still extracting. We've got some glass going. That's still filling up. Alright, we need to get some work going in here. that. Alright, I guess that's all the work we can do right now. Alright, let's get this cable created. Um, I'm going to need that cobblestone. So that would be, I could definitely make one more at least, so let's do that right now. So there's a generator, need one more circuit. Dust, glass generator, okay, wonderful, gotta put on my backpack, all right, and let us grab, where's my wrench, I don't have it, let's grab the solar panels up here. Put this in lossless because these can break. Oh wow, that does take a lot of energy, doesn't it? Ooh. Charge this up real quick. I didn't actually realize how just how much energy that takes. That's a lot. Have to do this two more times. And 
all the while I'm starting to lose power in the back box. Just let this charge up real quick. That should do it. There we go. Alright, so to upgrade this, I'm going to need copper. One, two, three. Um, is that going to be enough? It should. If I remember this recipe correctly, I need four wooden planks, three copper bars, and two copper cable. That will get me a low voltage transformer. And if I surround that with the solar panels, I get a low voltage solar array. And basically this produces eight EU per tick, or the content or the darn, I forgot about that. Uh, the equivalent of eight solar panels, which we surrounded the low voltage transformer with, and that fizzing you heard was the low voltage, or uh, the ultra low current cable fizzing out. So I need to lay some copper cable down. should charge, hopefully, the uh, bat box as soon as the sun rises. Remove the coal from the generator and see if this is charging just from solar power. It is not. Okay, so that means that copper cable is not efficient enough to carry this current. So now I have another use for gold. Actually, I have 14 diamonds. Do I have any silver? No, but I can macerate some up. I have the gold. I can, I'll just use that for now. Uh, I have some rubber. It's not going to be enough. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just go with that right now, actually. So I'm going to macerate up a few pieces of silver, get the sand going into more glass, because we're definitely going to need some more, and tin dust will go in, which means that this macerator needs some more work. Um, Go copper. Could always use more copper. All right. So if I heat up, these two pieces of silver dust. Let me put away this beast crystal too, because I don't need that. It's taking up space.
All right, I have two silver ingots. So if I put a diamond in the center, flank it with silver ingots, and then surround those with glass, I get glass fiber cable. And this is the most efficient type of cable. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna need another stack, but that's okay. Five, six. Now, the reason that the copper cable was not uh, letting any current through to the bat box was because it loses much more current uh, and EU than anything else. It's basically the most inefficient. Glass fiber, on the other hand, is the most efficient. So upgrading, placing glass fiber up here right now will save me the trouble of upgrading it later. Are you kidding? <sighs> See, this is why I really need this hooked up. I've got so many machines and I don't wanna keep using these generators. It's really killing my fuel. go just rig this up and booyah now we'll start getting that passive energy generation as well all right let's make up a few more because we're gonna need as many as we can. I always forget you need to double everything. So get me two more for a solid 10 EU per tick. Which is not bad at all. Should be efficient enough to run all of my machines. Or at least keep them supplied. Um, what should I do now? Do I have the resources for more? Let us see. Get this cooking. I do have more cobblestone, wonderful. have enough for another generator or another uh, array but I'm gonna have 
have to settle with two for now. Almost every time. Almost every time I invert them. All right. So here's 12. Should be a good buffer if each of these take two for operation. I'm gonna give my bat, bu my bat pack a bit of a boost. See, it's not draining as slowly, too, which is good. Let's take that. Generators I need the cable. So that's one more. Which means I need rubber. Which is why I have these with me. The rubber wood. Like I said, if you can if you extract rubber wood, you actually get rubber from it. If you cook it, you don't get much. You don't get anything from it. Okay. Bit messy in here. Not gonna need you. Should see if my trees can be tapped. Just before dark. There we go. So I have to say, I usually get 18 or so. All right, I will let that extract for a little bit. And I'm gonna get some sleep because I want to do something on the surface for this episode. All right, so for this episode, after I got all that done, what I really wanted to do was, or at least this session, I wanted to find some oil to get into some buildcraft stuff, well, buildcraft and forestry, because I, at the moment, do not have enough EU production to go fully electrical, which would definitely help. I need to find some oil so I can actually run engines and at an efficient pace. So I'm going to finish up all of this cooking, macerating and work for the uh, industrial craft side of everything. Why should that go in there? All right, uh, let's see, gonna put this, 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 this away. How 
How's my bat box? It's looking okay. Won't need that for now. Definitely need this. That won't help me on the surface. I'm, I'll keep that for now. until I get enough resources to upgrade all of these. I can almost do it, but I don't have the power yet to run them, which is a pain. Charge up the backpack a little bit more. Give the drill a bit of a charge. All right, and let these do some work while I head off on an adventure. Actually, just to make my adventure a little bit more tolerable. Oh, I do have leather, wonderful. Gonna make myself some armor real quick. Just to be a bit more survivable. Yeah, it's really nothing, but hey, it's a little bit better than nothing, I hope. Okay. Now, if I check my waypoints, I don't believe I've found any oil. Oh, I did. did find a little bit right here. So I'm going to go scout that out and see how far away it is. It's over here in this direction. Yes. Yes. This way. turning off the ones I don't really need. Ah, it's this way. Here we are. How big is this guy, sir? It's actually a pretty good size. Oh yeah, that's definitely going to be worth pumping. 
All right. So I'm going to run back home quickly and start making what I need to pump all of this. Can't refine it just yet, but I can at least get started. Should be a little easier on the eyes. Okay, now that we're back home, let us gather the supplies we'll need to actually make use of this oil. Going to need redstone, I'm out of stone, I'm out of stone, cobblestone, wooden planks. Um, iron, normal iron. Um, what else will I need? I'll need this pick. Yep, gonna need stone. So that's easy enough. I told you I'd widen this out a bit. That should definitely be enough. Okay, so what I need are four pistons. And these are a vanilla Minecraft item. Alright, I'm also going to need glass. I always forget that. And this should actually be enough wood to do this, hopefully. Yep. Wooden gears. I place wooden gears on either side of the piston. A few pieces of glass, and I'm out of wood. Invariably and completely out of wood. So the reason I haven't posted a video in a while is because I haven't recorded anything. I haven't recorded anything because I've been really busy with uh, some real life stuff. I'm taking a summer course at a college and it hasn't, like, it's not hard, but it's just time consuming, really. It does, it forces me to, like, 
go to go to class in the afternoon, which is would be which would be prime recording with, uh, time. So it it's just another time sink. But real life comes first, and I'm sure people don't mind right now because really they're. There's only a few people subscribed, but I thank you guys for uh, subscribing. And if you're watching this, you know, later, and the future has happened, uh, welcome to you guys too. So, sun's going down. I think I killed this tree, so finish it off. Let's head inside. And that should be enough wood for these. As I was saying, put wood on top, glass in the middle, pistons flanked by wooden gears get you a redstone engine. And this is the most basic build craft engine. Yep, finally got into build craft. Hooray. So, uh, if I remember correctly, the next item requires an iron gear, so that's four sticks, which makes a wooden gear. Wooden gear surrounded by cobblestone gives you a stone gear, and a stone gear surrounded by iron gives you an iron gear. And if I put iron in the middle, redstone, the iron pickaxe, and surround it with iron, I get a mining well. And a mining well, when powered by Buildcraft engines, will dig straight down until it hits bedrock. What I'm going to do is build a tank by, surround, by bake, making a glass furnace, quote unquote. That's just the pattern it is. And then put the tank on top of the mining well and get a pump. And this basically will pump out any liquids in a straight line and surrounding if it's not water. So, uh, do I have levers? I have one, I need one more. Sticks. There we go. These have finished up their work, almost. Get you working. Get you working. And you, and I need to sleep so that I'll, that'll actually charge. Okay, now I do need some more glass, because I only have enough for two tanks, and I'm pretty sure that the amount of oil that's coming out of there is more than enough to fill two tanks. In fact, two tanks won't be able to hold that much. So. Grab all this interior sand. Dig out. Need more. Where's a desert when you need one? It's probably that way somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, it's over there.
So by the way, I still haven't found a uh, good video editing program that has picture in picture, which is why you probably are seeing all of this. I know it's boring, I'm sorry. Okay, let's get this cooking. Can I pause you for a second. I can get some gold going now or finish up the copper. While that's cooking up, if I grab some iron and some gold, four iron in the corner or in the center, Surround it with gold. Gives you these iron to gold chest upgrades, which are from iron chests. And I'm going to apply these to these chests because I'm running out of space in at least that one. So I figured why not just upgrade all of them right now while I have the resources. Uh, let's consolidate a bit. Say about four should do for now. Four tanks. Actually, I'm going to need that gold. For something else. And I'm going to need my cacti. That should be enough. So for vanilla players out there, or new vanilla players, if you put cactus in a furnace, you get cactus green, which is normally used as a dye. Not that glamorous, but. If you take a gold transport pipe, and I'll get into what these actually do in a second, And you put cactus green on top, of, or not cactus green, but pipe waterproofing, which is made from putting cactus green, cactus green in a crafting bench, you get a gold waterproof pipe. Now, pipes are used to move items around, and you can use these engines to essentially pump out items from, say, using a wooden transport pipe, which is made by putting glass in between two wooden planks, you effectively pump out a, an item from this chest and place it into this chest, or from that chest into the macerator, or into the electric furnace, or from the macerator into the electric furnace. There's a lot of possibilities for this. What I made here is a golden waterproof, waterproof pipe, 
waterproof pipes transport liquids like water, oil, etc. So what I'm going to do, and I want to make sure I have the levers, okay, check Got my tanks ready, redstone engines. All right, we're good to go. Let's head over to that oil. Almost ran right past it. Okay, so what you want to do for gathering oil is place your pump directly on top of the center oils of the oil spout. So that's why I'm using wood basically as a scaffolding. There should be the center. Stick my pump here. And what's going to happen is there's going to be a tube that goes down through the center of the geyser. Now, if I place four engines along each of these sides, and then activate them with these levers, these, will, these engines will start pumping energy into the pump, and the pump will start to extract the oil from this well, and place it into these tanks through these golden waterproof pipes. Perfect. Every buildcraft engine needs redstone to be powered to essentially turn it on and off. All right, let's get this going and let and watch the oil flow. Except it's t during nighttime. Fun. I. What I'm going to do probably is build a facility, like a second home, just so that I can you know, be safe while that's pumping. Actually, hmm. Maybe I should, maybe I should get some obsidian. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll do that next. Just to make it eat. Well, after I build the uh, house. Oh, crud. I forgot. I had it on peaceful because I was messing around with something. So I didn't have to worry, but that's why I wasn't getting hungry. Oops. <laughs> I'm not used to recording, and I'm not used to like, playing around with multiple worlds. So I'm not used to going back and forth. All right. Um, there's home. And that's a creeper. Finally, a little bit of action, huh? <laughs> All right. Let's get inside and sleep.
right, what building material do I have? I've got a little bit of a salt left. You know what? That should be enough for just a basic house. Three wool, make a bed. Yeah, this should be good. This will, this will definitely be enough, I think. Just to get started. I don't need an entire facility just yet. I do, I would like an entire facility at some point just to keep everything safe for this operation. But for now, just so I can get it going, I'll just make a small house. make a bridge and a road too because swimming over this is tiresome though when I get obsidian I won't have to <laughs> but I wonder how many ender pearls I have because that's required as well may need to do some late night hunting for endermen ah excellent it's already pumped out quite a bit as you can see here's the tube that extends deep into the earth. Alright. Uh, these build craft engines take a while to heat up and they don't produce a lot of power. At least the redstones one. The redstone ones do not. Especially when they're not heated up. So these will turn from blue, meaning cold, to green which is heating up to yellow which is optimal and then if it start blinking is okay because it's still releasing its energy but if these are turned on and they don't have anywhere to put their energy they really build up heat quickly and if they don't have anywhere to go they'll turn red which is really close to exploding and if they explode well everyone's unhappy Including me, because I'm doing the Let's Play, and my stuff would be destroyed. Alright, time to create this quick, small house. And it's going to be that 3x3 one that you all like, I'm sure. And that's really all I need for this area. For now. Just a simple lean to. I am just misplacing blocks all over the place right now. Perfect. Almost. There. I'll even have a crafting bench and a door. more reinforced. There. 
cozy. All right. Well, that should wrap us wrap up episode 10. Uh, I've started finally harvesting some oil for build craft engines and I've tweaked my industrial craft energy output or input I should say a bit more got that stabilized and we are making good progress so until next episode episode 11 this has been Paul Sivo and I hope you guys have a good night I'm tired I'm gonna go to sleep good night